I do think that legislation and, and quotas can play a role, particularly in countries that <clears throat> need to come a little quicker. But I also think that we should be equally talking about how women are driving success in sports. That's happening now. We don't have to say, hey, put us there because we're a woman. Put us there because we're successful. And that's a new part of the conversation that I think we should all be incredibly proud of. So many brands that are jumping on this opportunity because it's a blank white page. And um, on, on one hand, men's football sometimes can be extremely crowded in terms of the sponsors' uh, ability to activate those sponsorship rights and the message that they are giving. But women's football is still representing predominantly all the values that football was initially meant to be right and it's more family values it's more about competition and um, you know technical abilities on the pitch and brands like you know Barclays, Visa, Nike, um, I guess Budweiser in the US as well many of them saw this significant opportunity and are benefiting from the first comers advantage I think um, the best recommendation that I can give to, to brands and also investors is if I had a dollar, I would now put it into women's football. Um, yes, maybe the, the amounts are much smaller, but the exponential growth that is going to happen in the next five to 10 years is definitely not to be missed. I see now more women wanting to get involved. I think just a few years before, women thought uh, this was something that was just uh, reserved for men. Uh, no woman was part of, uh, or almost no, no woman was part of a governing body. And today that's very different. I can tell you in my country, a few years ago, you didn't see a single woman who was the president of a club, of a first division club. And today we have uh, four women in, uh, in this position. So you see the growth of a uh, number of, of women getting involved, wanting to get involved, wanting to learn about governance, wanting to, to, to from the academia, uh, having a, a profession uh, that can lead them to a, a position in a governing body in football. It's become much more inclusive than what it was 20 years ago, but we still have a lot of work to do. And the recent survey that we have published along with our rebranding um, about a month and a half ago, uh, once again shows that discrimination still exists. 66% of the women surveyed uh, said that they either experienced or witnessed uh, discrimination. And the more worrying part is only 12% chose to report it. So the gap is still huge. Women don't feel confident, comfortable, in their workplaces, they don't feel included and they don't think it's safe to speak up. So there's definitely uh, more, much more work to do to build inclusive organizations. But the future is very hopeful. Um, the survey also revealed that uh, more than 75% of the women said that uh, they felt supported by their colleagues and their organization and that they thought the future was bright. <laughs>